In this session, we are discussing pseudocode. So, what is the pseudocode and how this pseudocode is getting differed from the structured English which we discussed in the earlier video. So, pseudocode is written more close to the programming language. In case of structured English, it is something like is our day to day English in this form we wrote that one, but we have used some phrases which are very much alike or similar with the programming constructs. But this pseudocode is more close to the programming language and it may be considered as augmented programming language full of comments and the respective descriptions which are required for the developer for the coder to generate the code appropriately and effectively and efficiently. So, pseudocode avoids variable declaration, but there, but they are written using some actual programming language construct like your C or say Fortran or say Pascal. So, this is the respective constructs which will get reflected in our pseudocode. Pseudocode contains more programming details than the structured English. It provides a method to perform the task as if a computer is executing the code. So, in this way the pseudocode can be written. So, let us go for one example for the better understanding. So, here is one example for us. So, program to print Fibonacci up to n number of numbers. So, void function Fibonacci. So, reading this very line we are getting the flavor of C programming, but it is not a C programming. You see the function after the function name there is no opening bracket first bracket and closing first bracket. The function keyword is not there in our in our respective C programming, in our Fortran the function keywords are there. So, it is a mixture of this C, Pascal and Fortran program paradigms. So, now get the value of n and then set the value of a to i, a to 1 and set the value of b to 1, initialize i to 0. So, a is 1, b is 1, i is 0. If i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, if a greater than b, increase b by a, print b if b is greater than a increase a by b and print a. So, in this way we are trying to print the respective Fibonacci numbers through this pseudocode. So, here is one sample code to represent that how the pseudocodes are getting written and it is very close to the programming language. So, coders the respective developers can write the code in the proper syntax looking at this pseudocode very easily and comfortably. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.